Hey everybody, this is Anarchist, and today, this is my 100th Transformers review, so I'm doing a little, a little special. I'm doing a... Japanese reissue of the Gen 2 Laser Prime. Oh, you can see, back a little bit. Japanese writing on there. Artwork for him on the side, the front. Show him on the side there. Kind of artwork animation on that side, and it says G2 on there. And it shows a bunch of stuff on the back. I think I picked. I, Got this from Big Bad Toy Store. I don't know, maybe. I don't know when I got this. I know I got it when I was first starting to collect Transformers again. I think I opened them, when I got them, I opened them up. Uh, transformed them back and forth. Ow. And then put them back in the box and left them there. I have one to say I stick, put the stickers on. I have no way of knowing. Got that out of the box. That was tedious. Let's see. So, pull the paperwork out. Nope, I never did sticker them. Uh, this is unapplied sticker sheets, instructions, and the card right there. Hmm. Okay, so. Uh, pull out the trailer. Well, it doesn't show I never applied the stickers or any of the, the stickers, well, not the stickers, the missiles and everything, because they're still in the bag. Look at them there. Really? The sword. Gun. Gun. Prime himself. And after all these years, his lights still work. Yeah. Uh, arm him up. Well, I must be the only reviewer that has gone so much in his reviews, he's bored with them.
There we go. I thought it was a gun lit up too. You know what? I don't know why that is. Yep, see? All lights up still. That's awesome. But you can see. He's got some great posability. This is like Generations style. I mean, yeah, shoulder. Elbow. Wow. Elbow there. Uh, nothing in the wrist. That does go around. And he does have light piping. That is awesome. That one's Christmas tree in the back. Yeah, he's got light piping. Gotta love that. Uh, don't think he has any waist articulation. That kind of sucks. But... Got a ratchet joint there. Do it. His arms up and down like that. Does a little bit of a just way, a bit of a beautiful spread, as Javi Zahong says. And doesn't really with the feet because there's no feet articulation. And this is a Great Optimus Prime. Uh, they recolored the Times Return Optimus into his colors for uh, one of the, I think it was Escape from Velocitron box set. And I think Toy Axe even made decals to make him more I like it. But, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to point out that, uh, whole Nemesis Prime fandom thing, whatever, started off in Car Robots because they repainted Optimus here all black, gray, and silver and called him Scourge, a.k.a. Nemesis Prime. But, uh, you can see all that nice chrome there. You can tell the stickers of the Matrix holder. God, you see that light piping. It looks like he's got some kind of cannons up here. Shoulder mounted cannons. And this is good with the blue hands, blue stomach. That's a good looking figure. And, uh, with the Gen 2 Autobot symbols right there on each shoulder. And, uh, let's get him into robot mode. After, uh, opening the chest piece, you pull the head upward and slide it down. You know, you should turn the head 360 so the chest, the face is paint, uh, pointing at you from underneath. You close that. You bring the shoulders all the way up. And peg them together. You peg the legs together and push them right in and you close the feet down. Then you have his truck mode with the out of symbols on both sides, the red and black. And then there's his trailer. 
Wait. It's... Pegs in right there. You see the peg hole right there. And I just. There you go. Sorry about that. No. No, another stand. Not your most accurate cell phone stand. No, you can't see me. But it works. As you can see. Not 100% how this is supposed to go. Got a box. Oh, yeah, it is flat. I think that's correct. This right here is for a missile launcher back here. If we're not using the missiles, that's fine. Over here is the thing for the disc launchers. The knob right here to turn back and forth. And over here is the one for the Six single rocket lo rockets, a mini rockets, and there's all buttons right here to set them off once you plug them in there. And you would have Prime standing here. Manning your head, blah, manning the base. And you can store other missiles over here, down here, and back here, too. And I'm sure there's stickers to be applied here to give more of a detail and I haven't done that so uh, 
hopefully you like this video. This review. Was it gonna be a big one? But I decided I wanted to do a special figure or something special for this review. I think my Star Convoy was a bit longer than this, but Gen 2 Prime gets to be 100. Uh, I don't know how much this goes for online. Uh, this is from over 10 years ago. I don't think they reissued it again. I know they didn't reissue the... Um, Gen 2 Megatron. Oh. But if you watching my videos, you know I just recently did Beast Wars second Megastorm. And he was just a slight repaint of Gen 2 Megatron. Which I do know, I do have Gen 2 Megatron. I just, I know it's not complete. I know it's missing like everything. Maybe I'll get around to reviewing him one day anyway. But. Now that I'm done babbling, if you want to give me a thumbs up, another thumbs up, if you like the video, comments down below, whack that bell, notifications after you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, later.